today is oh my face look a mess that scar is still right here i'm breaking out here i got a bump here it is what it is i got one leg today so i said i won't even put on no makeup y'all gonna get what y'all get because it is what it is um what is it um today i'm just going to columbus mississippi it's the start of a four day trip so today i go to columbus mississippi the person is more senior to me never worked with her before i probably seen her in passing but i don't know but um yeah it's a four day and i actually got bought off um well it's not necessarily bought off it's kind of um pay protected so what happened was um my manager bought me off the trip for four legs so he took the last four legs away from me on go home day thank god so i ended like seven o'clock in the morning day four so i'm like all right great cool i can dig it what else yeah so that's a good thing i thought they bought me off for of ioe i thought somebody was gonna have an ioe and um they needed but i hit up them and i was like hey i just want to confirm before i not like if i go home that day um did i get bought off the trip they was like yeah your manager bought you off and i was like great <laughs> thank you they was like yeah you finished at seven o'clock in the morning i was like oh thanks so yeah, so I'm about to head to the crew parking lot. My report time today is at 12.43. It is currently 11.47. So I'm about to head there. Um, after this, I have about a week off. Um, that's Mother's Day weekend. I'm going to spend it with my grandmother. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. So other than that, um, let's head to work. I low-key wanted to make a reel, a TikTok about a, my, a day in my life, but I don't know yet. I may do that day two since that's one of our longest days. I might. Hmm. But if I do, I'll just insert the footage here. But I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. I don't know yet. But let's head to the crew parking lot. Okay, you guys made it to my room um easy easy day we just went to Missis from mississippi and we went from atlanta to mississippi that was it i worked the back my partner cool she brought my whole crew bought the plane in so they just she just put me where she wanted me and i worked the bag good because that's what i wanted um i'm just gonna go to the gym i seen one of my friends in the airport they was like you going to that tiny gym i was like yeah, because I need to go to the gym. So, yeah. So, I'm at um, this place. And my favorite piece of spot is next door. And I'm really thinking, do I get pizza today? Should I get pizza after the gym today? Like, should I? I'm thinking. Maybe. But I meal prep. I'm probably gonna get pizza. And I can eat that food later throughout the week. Good morning, y'all. It's 4 02. Our van time is at 4 55. I'm about to get ready. The whole getting up, making a real start of my day thing. No, we're not doing that today. I can't do that for early reports. I just can't because mm -mm, cannot. Um, yeah. So I'm about to get my life together. Because today is our longest day. We have four legs. But I'm working the front. So it isn't that bad. Knock on wood. It's not that bad. Um, all of my people are at work today. So today's gonna be a great day. I'm 
they all start later. They all, so I won't see them on my first my first flight going to Atlanta. So I won't see them. So I see them when I come back. Yeah, when I go and come back. Cool. But um, yeah. It's about to be a pretty long day. I'm tired. Um, I didn't get much sleep at all because I drank a Celsius, but I drank it like hours ago. Like I drank it at like, we got in at like 2.30. I drank it at like 3. And it didn't like... I literally had to just force myself. It was so hot. The air wasn't coming. I don't know what was happening, but it was hot. So, yeah. I'm going to feel that later on. I'm going to feel all this later on today. But I'm drinking another Celsius as we speak because I need all this to, to wake me up. So, yeah. Let me get dressed, get my life together, and watch Bob Burgers while I get dressed for work. So. Okay, you guys, I am dressed. Don't I look much better? I know. Ever since, every time I use the hair growth oil um, that my old stylist sells, oh, my scarf got wet. Every time I use that, she, um, my hair, like, starts to grow. That's why I don't like use it as much, because I ain't trying to waste my braids. Like, I'm gonna keep some braids in for about three to four. No, sorry. Two to three months. Three months is max. Four months is, mm -mm. they start locking up. But yeah, um, basically, I kind of need to get my hair done, but I don't want to um, pay for it just yet. I know what I want, but it's like a high maintenance style, and I don't like taking care of it. And it's a good summer style, but I don't like taking care of it. What's going on with this scarf today? What is this? We'll figure it out. Yeah. So I don't like taking care of it. So we're going to see what's happening now. But today is definitely a long day. But we're going to figure this out. I drank all my Celsius. Yeah. So we're going to get the day started. So. I have exactly 10 minutes to get downstairs. Everything's packed, ready. Um, so let's go. Okay, you guys made it to not Alexandria. Once again, they have changed my schedule and I picked all this up. So we um after we did okay, so this morning we went from where did I stay this morning? Oh, Columbus, Mississippi. So we went from Columbus to Atlanta, Atlanta to Wilmington, one of the Carolinas, and then back to Atlanta. On the way from Wilmington to Atlanta, they changed, um, they was like call crew scheduling, but I had already got the notification that said we had changed. So instead of going to Alexandria, now I am in Valdosta, where I was supposed to be been last week. So that's cool. Um, I like that dog. So they have the good breakfast. Um, so my favorite cook ain't gonna be here tomorrow. Yes, I know my favorite cook schedule. I know the days that we ain't work. I had to ask him because I got tired of asking the front desk. So when I went down with him, I was like, Mr. T, what's your um, what's when your off days? And he was like, Baby girl, this what it is. And I saved it. So now I know. So yeah, so I am in Valdosta. We literally went right to the gate. Like, we both had an hour and a half sit. We went right there. Um, Yeah. So, how we got it was the crew deadheaded in, and there was something wrong with the plane. So, another plane was also going to Atlanta from Raleigh that they were on. And so, they um they signed them up. They, they made them must rise, which means you must ride. Like, you have to ride this plane. So they put them on there. So they they basically put them on the flight anyways. And that's how, yeah. So when we got to Atlanta, we was waiting aboard. The crew had already got there because we they delayed the flight for them. But 
Anyways, we ended up working the flight with the original pilots. I don't know where the flight attendants went. We have no clue where they went, but uh, we here. So yeah, so I meal prep this chicken and potatoes. I'm gonna eat this chicken and I'm gonna tear it up. And I don't know if I'm gonna, I, I'm, I don't wanna take a nap. It is 2.51, I can't take a nap. I can't, I don't need to take a nap. I need to go to bed tonight. But tomorrow's an easy day. Tomorrow we just go from, where are we? Oh, Valdosta to Atlanta. And then we sit for four hours and then we go from Atlanta to Augusta and we're done for the day. So we done at like noon, one o'clock, so that's cool. So let me get undressed and relax. So yeah. Hey y'all, it's a new day. I didn't update y'all today cause I was tired. I was trying to get out and do what I was, I, I was trying to get, y'all freeze. Y'all, they gave us the sweet this time. I never get the sweet coming here. Let's look at the bath. Okay. Okay, so today I was so emotional this morning because a girl who I've been um, communicating with, she graduated flight attendant training today, and I'm so happy for her. Like, out of all the people who's inboxed me, asked me for advice, guidance through training, she's the one that's truly made me so freaking proud because she reminded me of myself so much. She's a go-getter, like, she's she doesn't care that we fly for free and i love that about her because i don't care that we fly for free i'm not a flight attendant for the benefits that's not why i'm a flight attendant so and i love that about her like she's not here to just fly for free and i love that about her um she's just so amazing y'all and i literally um we we talk every day at the every exam and then today i um sent her a voice memo and I literally had tears in my eyes like I had to stop and I was like wait let me get myself together because I was so proud of her because I knew this is what she wanted and I just know she's gonna make a great flight attendant here so and I'm so freaking happy for her so if she sees this vlog girl congratulations again I am so happy for you you're gonna be great out here uh, so that's honestly all that has really happened today was I excited about that. I was so excited waking up. I was like, I'm going to send her this cute memo, this voice memo to let her know I'm proud of her. I'm so excited. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. So we came from Valdosta and went to Atlanta this morning. Y'all, we had a four-hour sit. It was three, three hours and 45 minutes, but still four-hour sit. I went to the crew room. I try falling asleep, but it's kind of hard because them chairs, the chairs are cozy, but you kind of want to fall asleep and then your alarm go off and then you're waking people up around you. And then, I don't know. I just feel like if I'm going to take a nap, I need to take a nap do a that. I don't have to set an alarm. So, yeah. So, I'm unbothered about what my food that I have. I'm unbothered about what I meal prep at this point, at this very moment. I'm about to go to the taco place down the street and get me some tacos and eat. Don't judge me. So yeah, so that's why I'm ahead to and that's pretty much it. So excited for her. Um, what else? Yeah, tomorrow we gotta be downstairs at like 4 a.m. That's the only leg because um, my manager bought me off my last four legs tomorrow so it's just one leg home god knew what he was doing because god knew i was tired no god knew i was gonna be tired but anyways you guys um i'm gonna go get some tacos all right good morning you guys it is you know we can't say this loud because stuff happens it's go on knock on wood okay um some storms is going through the south real bad. Well, the North Georgia, North Alabama area. Like, y'all, it is rough out there today. And if we leave exactly on time, we'll be doing good. We'll probably be touching the corners of some of these storms. 
but we shouldn't we shouldn't fly through them. I don't know y'all don't know about the radars, none of these. I know about weather radars for a fact, because I used to want to be a meteorologist. So I know a lot about weather. Um, yeah, I can track a storm down to the T. But understanding how the um, pilots fly, their radar thing, how they has to go in certain directions instead of the straight shot there, that. But um, yeah, I hope it's a good day. We just go from Augusta back to Atlanta and we're done. Thank the Lord. Cause I am tired. So yeah. Okay, you guys. Um, I don't think I'm gonna drink Celsius today. Cause I need to be able to just go right to bed when I get home. I don't think I'm gonna do no coffee. I could do coffee. But it's gonna mess up. I don't want to bother my stomach. I want to be able to go to do whatever I gotta do at the house. I can't do this at work if it messes with my stomach. So yeah, other than that, let's head to the airport. Let's go downstairs. Okay, you guys, remember what I said? Go home, day. So we closed the door, everything was fine. Um, the door was closed properly, everything was done correctly. But the captain got an indication that the door wasn't closed. So it, it was closed, it was just, it could be a circuit breaker, we don't know. It just says it's not closed. So we waited, called maintenance, nobody answered. So after probably like 30 minutes, he deplaned everybody. And then we went, um, we just sat here while everybody's off, so we're just waiting. Maintenance came, he's drilling, he's doing some drilling in the back of the plane, doing something on the floor, I don't know. But the door in the front, he's drilling something back here, not sure. So, you no, know, he needed to screw, he couldn't screw it, so he had to go back to his shop and get a drill. And he ain't came back yet. I'm supposed to be on my way home or in my bed right now, but it's cool. That's the life of a fight attendant. Happy go home day. Okay, hey, y'all. Uh, it's like three hours later. Um, we still here. They got on. They tested the door. It did not work. It, it still said it was not working. They did some to it. They reset the whole system, and now they said it's working. But we can't leave until like probably 10. Well, they said noon because of weather. It's like storming, tornado warnings everywhere. So we can't leave until the weather get better. So stay tuned. Well, you guys, we got ready to board. We started boarding and then they shut Atlanta down because of weather. Now that same storm is coming here to Augusta. So we still can't go nowhere. And then we ain't left out of here by five. We time out and we have to stay here on our off day. God, let us go home. Okay, you guys, the trip is over. Y'all, we was delayed for eight hours. And think about this, we weren't paid for eight hours. Because we're not paid boarding pay or for delays. We're only paid in the air times. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, So this passenger wrote me, I got another note, you guys. And it said, 6 a.m. flight delayed due to mechanical problems, then weather my name kept a positive attitude and helped us cope we loaded on the plane at 2 30 p.m <sighs> y'all what a day but i i enjoyed i enjoyed my passengers this guy said he said the only reason i honestly enjoyed this flight was because of your humor he was like you're such a great flight attendant and and i ain't trying to boost my head up but i am a great flight attendant i'm a phenomenal flight attendant i'm just trying to throw that out there but um yeah um i ain't even gonna tell y'all but <laughs> i'm just gonna speak it into existence i'm just gonna say lord do what you're gonna do because i see you out here working for me and i'm just gonna go with the flow and see what you're doing for me and the opportunities that you have for me that's all i'm gonna say and because i'm gonna speak it into existence and when it happens i'm gonna praise him at the end of the day 
Uh, so yeah, it is hot. I'm about to go. My plan, I had plans that y'all get an oil change, clean out my car, rearrange my closet. Like, I had an agenda today. That's why they say don't plan on go home day. This is my first go home day that I ever had an issue with. I've earned my stripes today. But anyway, y'all, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, wait. The turp this is probably the worst turpus I ever felt like. We were turning, knocking. It was crazy. But anyways, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.